Hello lovers, men and sex. What do they want? How do they want it? Let's find out. You're welcome to Eve's Desire by Tiwa Says and I remain your pleasure coach. So like I said today, we're going to be discussing men and sex. And I have a male guest in the house who's going to help to really get into this topic. So without wasting any much time, I'm allowing him to introduce himself. Hello family, it's your boy, the Obi, your favorite gadget or your favorite boy. Let me put it that way to you guys. Okay, so I said men and sex. Mm -hmm. What do men really want when it comes to sex? Um, me personally, mm -hmm. I think men want satisfaction from sex. Okay. Because I feel sex is a very sex is broad. When we say sex, it goes beyond just you know intimacy, like just entering on the penetration. Yeah, penetration. Yeah. So it goes beyond that. So I feel like having sex mm -hmm. sometimes it entails to people. Sometimes it can be like personal. But me personally, mm -hmm. I'm, I I would say I want to derive satisfaction from sex. Okay. Yeah, I would say that's what I. So I get a lot of complaints from men who say that oh, their women are not satisfying them or they rather their women do things this way or that way. So how exactly or what exactly do men want when it comes to sex from women? Hmm, that's a very um, interesting question. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll say this, a lot of women don't know how to have sex. Mm -hmm. So does a lot of men. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, well, let me start with mourning. A lot of women don't mourn. It's a serious problem. You just, and most of them just think sex is just, you know, lay on your back like a log of wood and just wow. on your legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, do better, do better. I, I mean, you have like sites where you can learn how to, mm. you know, and some women don't even know what foreplay is. They just, Okay, do wow, do bang now. I thought that was a man's thing. It's well, men that don't know that don't do foreplay. Men do foreplay. Which men? I will say this. I'll say this. Most women, let me let, let me dive into a little bit into marriages. You know, okay. when you're cutting, you're coming to see in your all spy stuff, you're wearing mm -hmm. your best outfit mm -hmm. type shit. So when we're like in the house now, married. Yeah, when we're married now, mm -hmm. we're living together, mm -hmm. you tie a wrapper around your neck, mm -hmm. no, nothing, nothing sexy. Wow. Not, so, I mean, sex is no longer fun compared to when you used to wear that, you know, that pants that goes in between you. I don't want to call the woman okay, pants. Okay. <laughs> and then you, you show a little bit of flesh. Mm -hmm. I like it when, when my mama likes, like, she knows how to tempt me. Mm -hmm. She doesn't make moves, but she calls my name okay. without saying my name, get me? So... Mm -hmm. She wears like stores that are very appetizing. She passes, probably I'm playing video game or I'm mm. doing my work on my laptop or something. And then she passes the first time, then passes again. Mm. Even my subconscious will notice that something is, you know. So it's very appealing. And then she goes to the bedroom and just sends me a text. Like, Please, can you help me come pick something in the bedroom? That's a call. Mm. But I mean, how many people do this these days? How many people do this these days? Some women don't even try to appeal their husband sexually. Or they have, some women, if you left to some women, they, they can go three years and not have sex. So, uh, uh, that's my drag uh, for no, women. No, 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 uh, that's a serious drag. I don't, that's my drag women. for women. It, that, it, that's it, that's, that's no, my no, drag no, for no, no, women. Three years. That's my drag Excuse for Excuse me, women. women love sex as well. It's not even only you who that love sex. Proof three to years, us, show you. us. My man, I'm sure you guys are with me. Okay, can I say something? Because yes, we, okay, we are, we are now talking in this context of married people. I also feel that you know when um, people get married, it's not just the woman that is complacent. Even the man gets complacent, you know, or he he doesn't. It's, it's both people. He doesn't do what he used to do. You know that they say that a man is enticed by what he sees, but a woman is enticed by what she hears, what you say to her, what you do to her, and all that. So when the the thing is that when people get married, the men stop cutting their wives. So I'll say. So this. you now she's now one of the furniture. You know she's dead. It's just like she's dead. I don't so you don't you don't you don't cut her anymore. You don't do things to please her. 
you don't tease her, you don't do that. So how do you expect her to be appealing? Good question, guys. How do women react to um, compliments, especially from this part of the world? Uh, I don't know about anywhere else. When you tell a woman, you look, or let me say your, your partner, your immediate partner, you look very beautiful today, is try to watch her reaction. Most women don't know how to react to compliments. Hey, like, ah. for, real, for real, for real, for real. My heart. Check this out, check this out, check this out. You, you tell a, a girl, you look very beautiful. And she tells you I know. How is that encouraging? Oh wow. We don't our girls don't blush. Your mom do you? Yeah, don't be angry. This women don't blush. I mean, on my way to this place, I haven't told the lady you smell nice. She was like, oh I know. How am I supposed to tell the next How am I supposed to tell the next lady that you smell nice? So it's not encouraging. So when when a man like that's an individual thing. How many women do you tell? So you can't you can use one woman to judge. You can't use one man. These women don't know how to take compliments. Mm. Not all though, not all. Exactly, not all. Ah. not all. So how these women take the compliments? You know, it's just like they say when you appreciate, more comes. So mm. you don't know how you don't know how to appreciate and you won't expect me to do more now. Nah. When you appreciate the little I'm giving, like the little compliments I'm giving, you know, the way you appreciate it will make me want to compliment you more and all that, but as long as you don't know how to like appreciate my compliments. Mm. Oh, yeah, but that's the compliment you talked about now is a random lady. Most women, don't, most men don't compliment their wives. And when they compliment their wives, it's at the point that they want to get down. Maybe they, they want to do something. So they will come there, ah, 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 you're looking eager today. And the woman already knows that, mm, this is leading somewhere. Good so question. it's not just a compliment, an innocent compliment. It's a compliment leading somewhere. Good question. How are you looking to be complimented? Let's, let's dive into that. Because you have to look good, you know. Like I said, I said earlier that most women, when they get married, they forgo how they were like spicing things up and start. I mean, how am I supposed to tell the woman that it's, it's all right? Well, happen? that's also not all women. Okay. I mean, if you look good and you have a good man, he needs to compliment you. That's what yes. I'm saying. It doesn't always have to be he's trying to get down with you. I mean, there's no way you can come home to a very beautiful looking woman. It smells nice. Or I don't need to be all dressed up. I don't. When you dress like me, when when you are all dressed up, I feel like my brother is in the house. You feel me? Show me some skin, please. Like, yes, yes. Let's let's spice this whole relationship, marriage thing up. Like, yes. Okay, oh, you girls, <laughs> you ladies, have you heard that? Please. Okay, I'm still well. I'm still not going to agree. I'm still going to say it's not all um, women who are like that. And then there's all one thing um, that I like to talk about as well. I know that men have specs. What is with men and specs? So for me, I feel like specs varies over time. Like what a man likes to be would be different in the next five years. But I just feel like spec varies. You know, you cannot like one particular thing for hmm. for a long time. So, That's new. Yeah, I mean, check. You, Why is that? I, I don't know. There's always something new. You know, change is constant, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm sure you guys will agree with me that you cannot have one spec for so long. Ah. Uh -uh. You know? Yes. I thought your spec is your spec. No, it's not. I mean, it's not. You can't be the same forever now. I mean, you, there was a time you were eating concussion rice. Now you're eating well, gang is your love rice. Uh, I mean, it happens. Speaking of that, the fact that you said that brought, you know, something to mind. Because if uh, eating jollof rice, eating concussion and all that, is that also a way of saying that men cannot stick to one woman? No, that That's right. why they cannot stick to one woman. Because you can't be eating jollof rice all the time. No, 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 no. And no. because it says spec changes over time. So even if you marry your spec, tomorrow now you, your spec might change. I might say that, oh, I don't really like them slim anymore. I want them covered thick. And yeah. then you start chasing COVID thick yeah. and you left slim at home. <laughs> I, think, I think she's trying to twist my words, guys. But you're, you're full up with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to educate you guys. I hope she gives me the time to educate you guys. Mm. So, this is it. You want your woman to add, add some meat. You're beginning to like find interest in chubby ladies. Feed your woman. Again. Feed her. Like, she gains some flesh. I mean, you are married to this woman. I don't support cheating. I don't. I don't. I don't particularly believe that men are polygamous in nature. That's ah. my own stance. Yes, that's my own stance. People, people do history without doing the actual history. So I'll, I'll tell you this where polygamy came about. Mm -hmm. Back then, like in the early 70s and all, 
you know, our forefathers were farmers and they needed workforce. So the more women you marry, the more children you have, the more workforce you have. So it was a thing of business, not not mm -mm. personal ah, life. I love, I love a new King James Version. Yes, <laughs> yes. Excuse me, polygamy dates back to Bible days. Not just 1970s, Bible days, there was polygamy. What were they doing in the Bible days? Were they, were they not farmers? I, I wouldn't know. It's not, they, were they, farmers. Were farmers. they were farmers. They were farmers. But those that were not farmers, they were fishermen. It, it all has to do with farm. Because you as you as a fisherman, you, you can you be categorized under farming as well. Yes. So are so, you saying that Solomon was a farmer? That's why he had the... Is it 300 concubines or the other Solomon just had, I don't know about Solomon, but I'm telling you, as, as, to my, as to my history that I've checked, most polygamous families back in the days hmm. were farmers. They needed workforce. So they needed, you know, the more wives you marry, the more kids you have, the more workforce you, and then you can, the, the more you produce, the more money you have, the more acres of land you acquire. So yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily believe in you know, or men, if you have like composure, you can, you have self-control. I don't see why you chase after different women. Hey, this one is from matter space, so I think there's just one percent of you. So, I'm still, I'm still coming back for you. Yeah, you I'm, said, I'm there for you. Yeah, hey, spec changes. You yes. are still got, your spec changes. Yes. And then you marry your spec. And yes. then after a while, you decide that, ah, I, I want this spec. Okay, what if? Okay. Because there are some things that can be changed and there are some things, things that can't be changed. If you say, okay, after a while, you marry a slim woman, but yeah. after a while, you want a chubby woman. Okay, it's okay to feed her. You can decide, okay, I want to feed her, I want her to be chubby. Okay, so well, after a while, if you now decide, I don't want chubby again, I want slim. So you should die. She will hit the gym. Oh. She will hit the so gym. the woman is a pawn now. She's not. You are just She's not. Her She's and not. And then what if you now decide that you want big, bosomed something? And then your wife is not like that. You don't have a big beer, or you want big bum bum. And she's not like that. I feel like I feel like that's a personal choice, but I don't think I want big or big boss or what I mean, even for those that are married, mm -hmm. the second your wife gives birth, she adds weight. She puts Definitely, weight. yes. So some women, this this is something that I've been willing to talk about. For mm -hmm. those of you that put on weight when you are when you just give birth, please, please. People find I, I feel like it's a it's a good thing to give birth and it's it's a lot of work to be pregnant. Yeah. I, I applaud you guys for that. Same, I mean, same, same, same. Yeah, I know we see you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like, but yeah, a lot of people leverage on the fact that I just give birth. So they start to lose themselves. Yeah. They become too big. I mean, keep yourself a lot. I don't know. People just find means to complain. So if as a man, it's just communication. You can communicate. It, there's, some, there's a reason why it's called partnership, right? Mm -hmm. I think you should put on some weight. Sometimes you don't even need to tell her, just feed her to your taste, you know. Make yeah, her... I will feed her, I don't cooking. I will feed her, I will feed her. Yeah, I mean, give her more protein. She, she knows Are you the one her. cooking? It does... Or you want to be taking her out to eat every time? Do you, do you guys always cook in your house? Because it's like if you don't go on dates, you don't get your, your wife goodies, like, mm. you know, all the goodies and specials. I mean... Maybe. It's, it's, it's the part of the 1%. Watch out. I'm not, I'm not necessarily any part of anything. That's just my stance. That's just my stance. Okay, feel, you feel yeah. your woman. Yeah. I, I know that, you know, when um, when a woman gives birth, she puts on weight. It's only for some that, you know, are slim, that are always slim. You know, when they give birth to one or two, you know, they add weight sometimes in the right places. Yeah. So they even become a more... Um, um, well, I mean, it would be sexy. Sexy, yeah, you know, they will look better and all that. But when it becomes too much, there are times that women just let themselves go and, yes. and you know, the weight becomes too much and then they are no longer attractive to the man. That's what you're saying, yes. you know, and um, that becomes a problem. I know that um, sometimes this weight, although there's nothing that is impossible anyway, but this weight sometimes can be difficult to to um, lose our bones so what yes it's true because we are different and our bodies are different you mm -hmm. know so it might be easy for one person and then it might not be so easy for another person especially if um the person is coming from um has the genes has already has those genes yeah. those 
fat and big jeans it might be a little more difficult um, for the woman. So I would expect the man to be supportive, you know, but most men are not supportive. They are always dissing the woman, like, ah, 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 why are you looking like this? What's this? Blah, 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 blah. I believe that if a, if a woman has a supportive partner, it will go a long way also. This is not to say that there are some women who just feel like um, what they are coming to a marriage to do is to give birth. And that whether you like that, that's your own, you know, if you want to go and be meeting all those things, it's not going to get that side of you know. But there are some women who are also genuinely interested in themselves and looking better for their husband and also for themselves. But it can be a little difficult. Mm -hmm. So what I'll just beg is for the men to be, you know, a little supportive. Some women might need a little nudge. Like yeah, a little right. push here. I'll mm -hmm. say that. Yeah, a little push here and there, you know. You could even decide to be going to the gym together or to be doing exercise. So just just something to push her and then to make her feel that okay, yes, she's still loved, even though she looks this way, but you just prepare that, you know, not just for you but for herself as well. Yeah. So I think uh, men take notes. Yeah, so men that. take notes, but women also take notes too, because sometimes tough love is the way forward. <laughs> it's not everything that is baby, baby, baby. So I, I feel like most men serve as trying to like encourage their wives, but because of a lot of petting, they just be like, okay, baby, I'll go tomorrow. Sometimes you need that tough love to do better. I mean, it's your body. Okay, it's yeah, our body. Yeah. When your body is banging, you show off. Mm. So, I mean, Emma, you, you guys like listen to us, you know? Mm. So, I mean, I, I'm very sure she agrees with you. because I On mean, some levels. Not she agrees with levels. me. She will never say she agrees with me, but I know she agrees with me. <laughs> that you will, some of you need tough love. Mm. Some of you are going to tough love, safe. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm still going to come back to this question. Why don't men marry their spec? Because I see a lot of times that men don't marry their spec. They will have a particular spec and then they will go and be marrying uh, something else. And then they will still go out to meet that spec, to be friends with the spec and keep the woman at home. Don't, don't, don't even do that. I, I don't think that's the case. Yeah? I, I don't think that's the case. Hey. Me personally, as a man, I, of course I'll marry my spec. I will date one gay for two, three years and I'll get married and she know my spec. Kill her and she. Like, what are we doing? P.S. guys, I'm not going to revolve. This guy is, is in the 1% I'm telling you guys. Don't listen to what he's saying. I'm telling you guys, like, nobody marries any village that is not their spec. Hey, don't even See, go there. She wants to diversify don't into cheating. Go I'm a man. So she's a lady. She doesn't know why men cheat. We men know why men cheat. We men know why men cheat. I mean, what's the number one thing a man requires from a lady? If you know how, or how, should I remind you? It's respect. Mm. It's respect. Mm. You that your husband is cheating, are you respecting him? The one that is respecting you at home, you are not, you will be married only Mary. Yeah, you are respecting you and kneeling down for you. You know, like you still go and meet Buddy outside. Is, is that is slapping you. That's what. Is it wrong? That is a lie. I cannot <laughs> see. Let me tell you something. This this Lagos, this Nigeria is already too hot. So anywhere, any where, where my safe place is, like I'll call it my cave area. Every man likes to run back into their cave area. Have you seen a man that is in love with a child? You see, like where just like when I'm outside, I'm always frowning my face and everything. But the second I get to my gate and I honk my car for the, for them to open the gate, I drop all those walls and everything. I become very vulnerable. My girlfriend can't testify. Are you sure? I, I, my girlfriend can't testify. The one, the one percent. Most, are you sure? Most men are babies. If you know how to baby your man, mm. for ladies that know how to baby their man, mm. you can come out and testify. Mm. You can come. So you, how, how do you baby your man? Just by respecting? Not just by respecting. I, I mean, most women these days have acquired this masculinity mm. traits on them. And they want to look so much us, like a man. It's you that made us masculine. No, it's not me. It's the men that it's made not, us masculine. It's not man When the men, men are not living up to the to the expectations. So the women have to take on the rules. And it's not that we want to, but that, we don't have a choice. That's a lie, though. That's a lie. With, true. With, with, this, with this kind of comment here, we're going to like visit patches that we're not supposed to visit. Ah, let's visit it. Because, okay, <laughs> now they're like, now she's saying, we men need them to, to want to be like men. Nah, yeah. it's just the generation we're in right now. So it's the generation we're in. We're, we're in a women's world right now. And women use emotion. Are we really in a women's world? Yeah, it's a women's world right now. Oh, really? Yeah, women control the world right now. I mean, oh. most songs have said this. Like, I, I, I don't need to start calling names of songs that have said this. Mm -hmm. women, women are in charge yeah, yeah. now. So 
Where, where my battle is, is women want 50 50. Women want to be. Women want equity, but our own feminists in this part of the world want 50 50. They want equality with men. They want to share or rub shoulders with men. Then I don't have a problem with that. So you cannot, you cannot blame a man for not wanting to feel, what's the word? Like a, a baby to another man. Let me cut you. Why do you think women want equality with men? Let me give you my own opinion. Yeah. Like I said, it's because the men are failing this day. The men of these days are not the men of our fathers who, who were protective, who were loving, who were supportive. These days you find men falling short. The thing a man is supposed to do, the woman is already doing it. So what else? She's going to ask for equality. You see why I said that's a woman's role? She's going to ask for equality because if you are not stepping up to the plate, if you are not stepping up to um, what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to be, let me tell you, every woman wants to be um, loved, wants to be babied, wants to be protected, wants to hide under a man, wants to be shielded and all that. But in, in the world that we are today, it so happens that that is not happening. The men are not protecting anymore. The men are not providing. So if I'm, I, as a woman, don't have a man who is providing and protecting me, and then I'm able to do that for myself on some levels, excuse me, I'm going to ask for equality. Well, I'll remind because you. what are you doing there? If you are not doing what you are supposed to do there, we are the same thing. I'll remind you that as a man in this my generation, once they give birth to you, life is already leading you things you. So before you get to that 10 zero and surpass, you are drained already. Because yes, I'll say let me use myself as an example. Um, you know, I don't want to like dive too deep into myself, but responsibilities choke. And you need it. These days women are like, I mean, I'm a queen, I, I don't need to do anything, I need to be a baby. Wanting one. <laughs> women are jobless. We don't make the rules, we you, don't make the rules. You, 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 see, not jobless, so you, you, you see, like you see a lot of jobless women with high days. I promise you, <laughs> women these days want baking bags without no job. Mm. They want to live in five star houses and places without no job. Is the quality of women that you are? No, 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 sure, no. No, it's the quality of women. I mean, I mean, I mean, quick question: How many women can can not tie these days? How many women? Can, how many? Let, let's go out there. Not tie. How many women can not tie? I think I can. She thinks she's not sure. I can't. She's not sure. I, I, so I she's part of that that ninety percent. I can. I can't. She's part of that ninety percent. I cannot. So yeah. But then me. you shouldn't judge a woman, a, a woman based on not in a tie because she doesn't have to wear a tie. She doesn't. I mean, I mean, I mean, how many women can compose a CV? I, I sh my, uh, my, my my category for dating women, I sh I don't think I'll be yeah, because wow. some women don't know where caps lock is. Excuse me. Yes. You see, I just said it now that it, it, this is it depends on the quality of women that you are rolling with. Yeah, what, what are the quality? It depends on the quality of women you are rolling with. So you can't you can't blame anyone for that. What are the quality of women we have? No 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 no. I'm just saying that because. Uh -uh. A, 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 an average woman, educated and all that. What, what do you mean I don't know where cap lock is? Why shouldn't I know where cap lock is? Why shouldn't I be able to uh, put together a CV? Ladies, you don't know what uh -uh. for this beautiful lady. Hey, I don't understand. But but that's why I'm telling you that it's a quality of women. And I'm sorry to say this, but I think it's the Gen Z women. Because Gen Zs, they don't want to do anything, no. I'm sorry. So they don't want to do... Yes, yeah, it's Gen Zs. I told you that she's going to agree Gen Zs. They don't want to do anything. What do you have? What, what, what's mostly common these days? This is a Gen Z world now. I, I don't know. Should but I remind it's, it's a Gen Z it's world. It's a Gen Z world, but there is not only Gen Z that is in the world now. Is yeah, it? but popularly. Okay, so you can't judge every woman based on a Gen Z woman. My guys, I'm not judging them. The Gen Z, the Gen Z woman is the youngest woman of the, you know. There's millennials, there's Gen Z. Excuse me. Don't judge every woman by Gen Z. Those millennials are married and settled. Please, those, those their generation, yeah, their generation of women. Let me take you guys back. Then men were in charge, you know. Women were to like sit at home, take care of the kids. Men were work out like factory, you know. That was when the whole salary thing came about, you know. People were leaving their farms to become workers, you know. They were getting paid. So when they get paid, they take the money home to the wife, you know. There was like division of labor, but now we don't know. And they, there was order. That's what I'm saying. And you said the men were you. The first thing you said was the, the men were in charge. So you will agree with me now that men are not in charge. Women are doing so what men are, are doing. Hey, because you people are not doing it, don't you get? 
I don't I don't agree with you. Ah. I don't agree with you. I want to give you an example. Okay. Please. So I was watching a documentary and it's about um, um people that won the lottery. Do you know that? Up to 70% of women that won lottery left their homes, like their their family, their husbands and kids, to just be on their own because they feel like, oh, I'm I've made it, why should I be subdued or under a man when I can, you know, live the lifestyle I want? Check most most wealthy marriages that, that break. The woman has gone to like a, a pedestal or she has gone to a level where she feels like she can take care of herself, she doesn't need a man and then she no, don't say that. There are always other issues involved. It's not just that. Yeah, I'm talking about issues that involve. There are always other issues involved. How many? Women? And let me remind you also that when a man suddenly makes it big, that is when you will know that this wife you put on is not his pick. Ah. Oh, she's not. Ah, she's not enough. Oh, she's not even fine. Oh, she's too fat. Oh, and then you start seeking something else. That's when you start, that you start looking for something else outside. So it's not a. It's not a gender thing. It's not a gender thing. I think it is. Uh, ah, no, because no, no, no. a set of men that want to go back home to their family, upgraded everything. Most men are looking for money to upgrade their family, make sure the wife is okay, the children are doing well. I know. I mean, let, let, let's go back to cheating now. You see a cheating man, yeah? This is where the difference is. Though. A man that is cheating, if you call his wife's name, I don't know about the stupid ones. Though. Yeah. But, like, Thanks for acknowledging. Some men carry their wife on their head. Mm, but they still cheat. Yes, I, I mean, I'm not justifying cheating, but I'm just telling you that some men carry their wife on their head. Like, the second she finds out about you, they are cutting you off. Hmm. Yes. And getting another one. They are cutting, they are cutting you off. And getting another one. Their wives, before they give you one error, they make sure their home is healthy and safe. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just speaking for the, for the men that are wives. Oh. Those are the wise ones, yes. But when a woman starts cheating, my guy, leave her alone. Because women don't, don't cheat for the fun of it. The second a woman starts looking outside, she's no one got emotionally involved with you. Why do you that? agree with me? Do you agree with me? You think a woman would just wake up one day and go and sleep with somebody else? These people are like, they have to be emotionally attached to you. I'm a woman, no. Don't speak. Don't speak for us. Let me just speak. Women don't do one night stand. Let me just speak. Women don't do one night stand. Let me tell you Women that. Don't do there are different stand. reasons a woman would cheat. There are different reasons. Mm -hmm. There are different, different reasons a woman would cheat, you know. So the the what you're talking about is when she's no longer emotionally invested, then that that's that's the that's the height of it. That's the height of it. Okay. And when it gets to that point, just know that okay, you've lost the woman. But before it gets to that point, you would have been seeing signs, and she would most most likely have been telling you or complaining, and somehow it's just that you know the men don't women listen. Women 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 tell you. Ah, they be they uh, they are not going to tell you that ah, I'm going to cheat or I'm going to cheat. Mm -hmm. Not okay, like that. So. Exactly. But you know, like I always say, if, if, if someone cheats in a relationship, it's usually because there's a loophole somewhere. Something is lacking. Is it always communicated? Let's be honest with ourselves. Well, that, that's another thing. But something is always lacking. And then it, it, it may become, it will be communicated. But it might just not be communicated in the way that you would expect or the way that you are thinking. But there's usually some form of communication, whether verbal, or body language or something. There's always some form of communication. It's just that the other party usually doesn't see it or overlooks it, you know, until it gets too bad, you know, and then you now say, oh, the woman did this, the woman did that. But then, like I said, is there's always a loophole. That is what causes cheating. And the, one of the uh, major reasons why a woman will cheat on you is attention. If she's not getting attention, forget it. Oh. And you know, most men feel like once I provide. Is that a major reason though? Like it's, okay, it's one, one of, of the right? major reasons. One of, okay. it's, it's one of the major reasons because uh women love attention. They are they are attention seekers, attention grabbers, attention lovers. So if you're not giving your woman attention, it's like she's not there. Even if you are giving her all the money in the world or you are providing for her every need, but she doesn't have your attention. Why do you think that um the partners or wives of people who are rich still cheat? Because yes, they have everything they need in the world, but the, the the most important thing, that is the attention. That is me feeling loved, me feeling wanted. It's not there. So they're gonna get it somewhere else. And that is why sometimes it seems like they go down when they do that. Because they, to be like, if somebody beneath them, they are there. But it's, it's the person that is giving them attention. Mm -hmm. It's the person that is giving them attention. The person that is saying what they want to hear, you know? 
and that's the person they will now gravitate towards. I have a question. Though. Okay. Who 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 communicates more between the genders to you? Ah, that is a debatable question. You because think? I think it's an individual thing. So I want to ask you personally, do you think you communicate more? Like, do you think you speak out more? Do you think you communicate enough? That should be my question. Okay, maybe okay, enough. I communicate. <laughs> I do communicate, you know. If I get to laugh, <laughs> take notes. <Yeah. laughs> I will say I do communicate, but sometimes it's not always verbal. Okay, so your mode of communication most times is like I'm not saying I said sometimes. I communicate verbally, but then some other times my communication may not be verbal. Verbal. So what do But then if you are my partner and you know me, you should be able to read and pick up on these signs. You don't read anything. <laughs> so that's you guys' fault now for it's not like, seeing it. Because my communication is not only verbal. Agreed. There's verbal and non-verbal communication. But for so you shouldn't you should know, you should not always only look for the verbal. Like it is said, look for what is not said. You should always be attentive and know your woman enough to know what she's not saying when she says something. Or when she's saying nothing. But me, my take on this matter is, as long as it's very important, please speak up. You know, we, we, can, we can't always read your body languages. I hope you, you people know that. Even, we make our own read women body languages sometimes. Mm. Yes. We make our own. So, I, before I go into that, before I dive you into this, I want to ask your your own mode of communication. Like, what do you, what do you ban for mostly? Do you actually speak out more or... I just told you now, why are you putting me on the spot? Yeah, I'm sorry, but there's a reason why. There's a reason why. I have my reasons. So, do you, do you think you do more verbal or body language? Yeah, I'm going to say 50 50 here. I don't agree. There's no such thing. <laughs> no, really. I'm I, going to say 50 50 I because agree. I will communicate verbally. But, but on the same matter, I may not always communicate verbally. I mean, I've communicated verbally at some time. And then other times, I would just expect. That you will pick up on my body language. Mm. Understand? Because you are my partner, you should know me. And then I've complained about this thing verbally. So other times you should pick up that, oh, this is what's wrong with her, something, something. You should, I, I can't just be talking as, as much as communication is important, you know. But like I said, it's not only verbal communication, communication in so, verbal and non verbal. Um, this question goes to you, public. Um, how long should a man tell you a particular thing? before you stick to it and how long should he endure before he takes action i'm throwing this question to you guys the ladies watching yeah. us right now yes it's because it's you guys yes <laughs> you guys you guys so answer this question by yourself on your own and then you know justify this because I'm, I'm speaking from experience you know i'm i know the baby again so you know you you keep telling a woman wanting over and over again at what point do you think is enough to like not tell her and what's her reason for not heeding to your correction please i need a very sincere answer to this okay if um, that's what you're saying if a woman keeps doing something wrong that's yeah, what over you're saying. and over again, over and over again. Yeah. hey well to start with let me tell you that you are not the only man that complains about that okay so and i'm not i'm not hey, 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 hey i'm not justifying <laughs> I'm not justifying, but then you have to keep telling her till you see changes. Wow. <laughs> but, <laughs> do, 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 do you agree that women are accountable? So now you no, have no, to. No, no, no. Wow. There's accountability. There's no. She, said, she just said you need to keep going. Wait, now you, you, didn't, you didn't let me finish. All right, sorry, sorry, madam. Till you see changes. And then some, some of the time, these changes are not going to come in big, big, you know. Um, very very noticeable Depend, yeah depending on what the thing is you know it might just be um small small changes here and there and once you you get like a green light like okay mm, looks like okay there's then that's improvement then you should but then when it's like oh there is no change at all you can't even see then that's when there might be a problem so and then for me i feel like women don't have communication very well as much as we would like them to because mm -hmm. You know, you you have something going on. Probably the reaction I want is never the case because I really don't get like the reaction I want from women or some women. So, you know, this is why a lot of men are always like tied up. And when you talk, they say you talk too much. So, I mean, for the women that say men talk too much, I'm sure they are very familiar with you. 
we talk too much situation. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I mean, how do how do women really actually deal with communication? Because me personally, I am maybe like you said, the kind of women I come across. But me personally, the, the way women deal with communication with me, I don't actually enjoy. Well, okay, you know, another thing I'm gonna say is that you know the way you communicate with a man is not the way you communicate with a woman. Mm-hmm. And then when you are communicating with a ma- woman, depending on what the thing is, especially if it's something you're not happy ab- about. Let's use partner, perhaps, please. Let's use partner. Your partner, yeah. yes. Especially your partner. If it's something you're not so happy about, you know, there are ways to go around this. Don't take the offense. The offense does not work. Exactly. It does not work. Or it does not work. I, not I'm telling you now. You it's have to no, go around. No, no, no. You no. have to go around. No. What I mean is that, you know, you can't keep going on the offense or you know speaking speaking about it harshly and all that. Sometimes yeah. the woman is going to feel um, attacked, and that is not the essence. Yeah. You want a change. Yeah. It's not a fight. So you can't keep going on the attack, attack. If you have tried attack, attack is not working. Try another mode. Or drink from that. <laughs> you know, that. speak to her when you know when she's. Um, when she's happy, when you are lovey dovey or something, use other words. Communicate differently. Don't don't attack her. Speak to her in love. You know, love conquers all this thing. You know, so yeah, so don't just attack. Most men. I wish it was by myself. Too. I'm going to tell you, most men. What they do is attack. Is attack. Don't even argue it. Most most is men. Attack. I don't agree. Is, is attack. I don't agree. <laughs> I, I don't. I, not just like you said now. How many times do I have yeah. to say this before you change? I'm not saying you are doing this again. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Sometimes why don't you even there wait. are romantic men like why? us why? Why out romantic? there. There are romantic men like us. Sometimes out there. you have to dig into the problem. You see? Even now, now I no, 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 wait. <laughs> why that ah. is even happening in the first place? You know, it might even be deeper than you think. That's, that's it might be deeper than you think. In. So why don't you even? Find out that okay, this thing. I keep I keep telling this person, I mean it's like there's no change. It's, it's, it keeps going. Okay, let me even find out. Maybe there's more to this. The, that's what I'm saying. That's where communication comes in. I'll give you guys an example. You come home, you know, trying to like sleep with your wife, everything. Then she padlocks the place. Babe, what's going on? She tells you nothing. With a straight face, you no, know, see. Women don't speak up. They, they don't they don't converse. Yeah, like, when the woman tells you nothing with a straight face, so ah, maybe there's something now. And you already know. You can't be messing up during the day and then when it's night, you're not baby alpha. He does not work that way. We don't work that way. Good. We don't work that way. But when I ask you like three to four times, I think it's time for you to open up. Hey, you should try five to six times. (laughs) (laughs) We don't work that way. I'm telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we have to do for the rest of our lives. We don't roll that way. This this is what we have to do for the rest of our lives. Women are wired differently from men. You, you. Well, I, don't, I don't know how your brain works. I don't know. Eh? No, no. I'm just, I, that's not an well, abuse. I don't know how your brain works. And I don't know well, how well, you people well, compartmentalize well, compartment, well, well, stuff. But you know, a, a man can, I guess a man can be upset. I don't know how our brain works. My brain is Yeah, wait. Shaking. Now, you're, you can be upset now. And then you see a naked lady and psh, that is, you know, and you're ready to go blah, blah, blah. But we are not like that. Wow. You can't have abused my father in the morning and then in the afternoon you are... Yeah, baby, but, but, I will not answer you. But, but did you like go as far as saying this person that what you said earlier was genuinely please don't be killing style? Eh, well, maybe or, not all or, of the time because we, uh, you should know now. You should know that. Uh, what was we that? We shouldn't know anything. <laughs> you should know. You people know anything. I feel like, something. I feel Especially like, if it's with your partner. You know your partner. You know what your partner does. But my partner does not like. But my partner, partner doesn't know me. Your partner knows you. Because I don't know what you say now. It, it's never vice versa. I don't know why. You, there's so much expectations from men, but when it comes to the women, men should understand. It, it's not done like something is going on wrong in my life. I don't communicate with her. There's a problem. Something is you wrong should. with her. That's what I'm saying. Like my my first my my first um, issue was that how do women deal with communication? Because you try to communicate with a woman, it's not going away. She's there's a problem. There's a problem. So, a lot of the time, men tend to like keep to themselves because they know how their wives will react. Like you said, you should know your partner. Mm-hmm. So, men know these partners and they 
they choose to keep to themselves. And when they can't even keep to themselves anymore, I mean, I'm sure you've seen movies. And I know of some men, they 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 pay for women. They don't necessarily sleep with them. They just pay these women. Pay for women. I mean, they have side chicks. Which one pay for women? They no, have no, side no, chicks. no, every man have side chicks. You mm. stop. You change this narrative. I've seen a very wealthy man pay a woman just to talk to her, just to like air out his feelings, let things go. Like why should why can't he talk to his partner? That's what I'm saying. A lot of women don't know how to have this. Excuse me. Have this communication. Have discussions. Not every woman can have like a heart to heart. Men marry down. A man will go and marry somebody that cannot have that, that is not to his level of standard, that cannot like hey, that is on the man now. It's, now men have been blamed for that. Uh, no, like, like you, you, just said that. you know, all these things I, I mentioned an issue earlier that when a man is trying to with his wife, she parlocks the place mm. and the man is like, what's going on? She says nothing. You ask five five times, you ask like three to four times. She keeps saying nothing. I said you should act up to five or six. <laughs> I mean, three times is enough for me. Hey, for you as a man, but for a woman now. For but a because woman, else the she just getting, Why you, you know, she's just getting me into the mood to tell you. Because obviously you've done something wrong. And then she's feeling like, oh, you should pick up on that. Well, that. I've learned something today. Women get in the mood to, to have conversations now. Women get in the mood to tell you things. So, well, how long does this mood last? Because we are coming we need to be knowing now. We need to be knowing now because I mean the I thing with women is once you offend a woman, you know. You we know now. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Now now your your message has been passed. Mm-hmm. That okay, I've offended you. I am sorry. But what am I sorry for? That's the problem I always have with these women. They don't tell you, they expect you to understand literally everything. Mm. Literally everything. And maybe because women feel that okay, she, you are your partner, so you should know me to to some level, That's I know the things that irk me and the things that I don't like and the things that please me. You know, in this world, you can't know somebody 100%. Uh, of course, you I can't. know that. So I that's know where that. communication comes in. Okay. My point is, women should try to communicate more. Well, I'm, big on, I'm big on communication. I'm big on communication because I feel like all, all those, um, even silent women and all, I think they, they are all just not necessary. You should communicate at the point that, oh, something is wrong. Just communicate about it so that, you know, it does not stretch. Like I said, mm. your applause is, city does not, does not stretch Your applause is beautiful. It's not Gen Z, It's not Gen Z. Yes, you go. Gen Z, what? You will know you will not communicate. You will do, anything you learn today, you want to come and try to turn you send boy. Things that did not give you at all. Because, I mean, how can you have a coconut head that you're you're looking for a widow of 2 million era. 2 million era that I have not seen before. Mm-hmm. Yes, like, let's talk about these things. And these, these girls, or ladies, excuse my French, don't don't learn the, the positive thing. You know. It's the negative they are fixated on. Like they want to anything that comes out today that is bad, they are down for it. Yes, I mean for for a guy like me, I like to talk. I like to like air out my view and speak freely. But when I meet a lady that sees me as a talk active, because I like to talk about how I feel, you call me a talk active. It's and you expect a good me, thing. It's a good thing to be able to talk. And you expect me to come to you tomorrow to tell you that ah something's wrong. I won't lose. True. I'll keep to myself. True. And it gets to a point where I can't take it anymore. I can't like hold it in anymore. I find somebody else to talk to. Yeah, yeah, it's actually. <laughs> if that's what she wants to call it, 90% of the men that you see ah. and how they come across these side chicks, they find or go to places where they they they, they feel caved in, like their safe area, their safe place. Your safe place should be at home with your wife and kids. But if your home doesn't feel safe, you find somewhere else. Mm. I'm not just fine cheating. Y'all don't get me wrong. Because so, I've, I've, I've heard that a lot of men who have side chicks, that is what they, that's what they are for. They are, they are supposed to be like their comforts and all that. That's their safe place instead of their home. They make those people their, you know, their safe place, so to say. That's where they go to air all their problems, to get comfort, solace and everything and then they now go back to the house. Should I remind you that these side chicks have boyfriends and they are not good to their boyfriends. Most of them are not good to their boyfriends. The way they are to, the, to their sugar daddies are not the way they are to their boyfriends. It's just like being a demon to your own boyfriend oh, wow. and being, a, being an angel to your sugar daddy. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? So, women need to do better. Women need to but do better. But are you, wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to tell me that there's only sugar daddies that have side chicks? Well, I mean, it's not. you cannot not have money and then you are having a Gen Z 
how do you, how do you do it? You all need to educate me. Because if you don't have money these days, please, once, I mean, I was, I was strolling down my street. I saw this very beautiful girl. I parked. I can't, how are you doing? She was like, you want to talk to me? I'm like, of course, why did I park? And then she said, I need to buy her a car first. <laughs> I mean, I told a friend this story. I guess, hey, yeah. I've told you it's the quality of women. <laughs> yeah, I've told she's, you. <laughs> I mean, this Omoni boy that was very fine. Like, she's very, very fine. We both stayed. She was standing at the Akarama shop. I was like, see this fine game. I parked. I was like, ah, hello, how are you doing? She was like, you want, you're, you're talking to me. I'm like, yes. She was like, ah, you have to buy a car for me first. Though. Uh -huh. I'm like, Akara, okay, how much? She said, one five. I said, all right, no problem. But, you know, they've, they've taught me, I, like I said, I'm, I'm Igbo, but I grew here in Yoruba land. So, there's, a, there's an adage in Yoruba that says, or let me say it in English, if you use money, find love, you go pay tire. So now, <laughs> so now I'm buying a car to talk to you on five. So when I get your number, I want to call you, I'll send you a time, 5k first. I'll, I'll use my airtime time. I, yes, I call you. And then when I want to see you, I will send a helicopter to you. I mean, I mean, it's not just, it's not, it's not making sense anymore. Mm. It's not making sense. So, just as a woman here, yeah, try to communicate more. I don't have anything against women. Women are like very beautiful. Mm. Women are powerful. Use your power. Mm. The, the issue I have. Is, and they are using power now. That's why they are asking for two million women. Wow. <laughs> that, I mean, that's the wrong use of power, though. Like, I feel like women, a lot of women. Let me say, eighty percent of women don't know the power they possess. Women, women are in charge. Women are in control, mm -hmm. but they don't know. And when they know these things, they use it for the wrong things. I mean, have you seen your husband around you? Let's use an example. Let me give you an example. Have you seen a man who is begging for sex? Mm. Now she said, <laughs> "That is fucked up. It's fucked up." How is he? That that man will literally say anything. That man will act like a toddler just to get sex. That's your power. That's your power. You then, see, that is the problem now. You people are the one um, propagating this um, agenda. So you make it seem like all a woman is about is sex. No, and that I am sex not. is the only commodity that she has to sell. People don't get me and wrong. And then when they now tell you that there is body they bring to the table now, people will be vexing. No, don't get me wrong. That I said women have power. They are in control. Yeah, sex is one of the ways you can be in charge. I mean, like you... I mentioned something earlier that a way to control your sexual life is to show some skin. Because some of you wear hoodie up, wear joggers down, then you wear three socks, and then you, you complain that your husband, you don't, your husband don't find your opinion. Those are for the ones that are too short. The ones that are not, you wear three wrapper, you know, hair everywhere, no, you know, no face beats, nothing, nothing. And I mean, don't blame men for not. Men, as we grow, like I said, the there's a change. Change is very constant. Changes. So hmm. if you keep your if you keep your game on, I don't think your man will cheat on you. Hmm. I you don't. don't. That, so. hmm. She's a lady. I am a man. I am telling you from a man's stance okay. that if your game is high, I mean, men like challenges. He wakes up in the morning, he sees one very sexy ass fine bunny, and one fine lady that is sleeping on his bed. He will not even let you go anywhere. Anywhere hmm. you are going, will escort you hmm. because he doesn't want other men. To steal his snack. Hmm. But you are there. Snack. Yes! <laughs> yes! Look like a snack for your husband. Look like a yeah. snack for that boyfriend. Yeah. Don't always look like a dragon. Now, <laughs> don't always look like a dragon. <laughs> yes! Every, there's no peace where you are. Mm. It's coming home. He's thinking about the complaints, mm. all the Billy. nagging. I mean, I'm beating his part of the relationship for mm. me. I mean, as long as you are giving a man peace, you don't need to be. Mm. That if a man loves you, ah. He will story everybody in his life just to get to you. Uh, at least when I do puppy love, I go use my transport by to your home, babe. I go trek, go meet the babe. <laughs> Nobody love be that. Nobody love be that. So I mean, yo, when, when a man loves you, he spends every penny on you. Just make sure he's he has peace, he's happy. When a man is happy, you know, he will do like literally anything and everything yeah, for you. But but you, that's why your Gen Z's or the side chicks are like getting more. You would be, like I, I know that women are very emotional people. They don't try to be logical. They are very logical too. Don't get twisted. But most of the time they use their emotions. So try to use your logic sometimes and try to understand why why this. We are not using our head. Go no, ahead. No, I didn't say that. Eh? You see, 
Now that's emotional speaking. That's emotional speaking. Try to understand why that small girl is stealing your man away from you. Mm. Instead of complaining and nagging. As your husband is coming home today, you know your husband is cheating. You, you, I'm talking to you. You know your husband is cheating. Yeah. Make that turkey pepper soup for that your husband. You know it's mm. rice. Make that. You know, don't just make it with your wrapper on your head. Mm. Spice yourself up. You are in luxury. You know, spice mm. yourself up. If you did not turn, just know you have you married a gay. If your husband did not fall for you, you have he's a gay you married. But as long as <laughs> you talk about I'm telling you, you, you go go, you. You know, you get me. Okay. Feed him and feed him again. Hmm. When he wakes up in the morning, we'll spray him on. Except he's broke. And even broke when they get money when they you know. Hmm. But we're going to come on nag today. Your children did not your your children's school fees. Your children Yeah, men are uh, like to provide. Hmm. You 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 don't tell a man how to be responsible. We we know our responsibility as well. He doesn't man. be sometimes. The lie. The lie. We know our responsibility. Give us room. Encourage us. Go mm. easy. Try to encourage the men out there. Mm. Shout out to you guys, man. It's, mm. it's been really tough. The uh, real men knew. The, the, the ones that are doing what they're uh, supposed to be. There's never a time in my head that men are starting to have now dark. So I feel like all men are real. Just support the man. Oh, wow. The, the man behind that <laughs> smile. The man behind that smile. Support him. Encourage him. Sometimes. We, we just feel like, you know, the world is failing us or you know the only woman really get depressed to. Men say they Yeah, yeah, yeah. Encourage that man, tell him things will be good again. Mm. Maybe all this one will say things tough two seconds for your man. You don't need to find another man. Mm. You don't need to find another man. It's not good anyway. We are just different colors, we are the same people. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that's my advice for you ladies. And for you men, please stick to your wife. Try to like communicate more. You know, I don't know why they advise for now. But I feel like it, the, the problem is for me. For me. I, want to be <laughs> I hear you. Me. So, guys, you have heard it. You have heard what you need to do to make your man happy, to make your man stay. Ladies, they say you don't moan. Please. Moan, oh, eh, moan. They say stop acting like log of wood on the bed. Yeah. Stop tying Mr. rapper. Man. You have heard it from a man, you know. So, Mr. take those tips and put it into practice. So thank you so much for being on the show today thank you for me. and I hope you come next time you know I call it. So thank you guys. I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. So don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe so that you can get notifications for our future videos and I'll be seeing you. Bye guys. See you all soon.